Hey, Roadrunners, welcome back to Lit Medallion. It's a Christmas Eve special edition. Let's talk about our favorite things about this season. What's our favorite things? What's your favorite thing? For me, my favorite thing was the tipped pass that Oscar Cardenas caught to beat UAB and to win the Western Division title. Simply because that was probably, I'm gonna say, one of the few times that Lady Luck went our way. And it's, I mean, that's to me, that's what that was. I mean, if that linebacker falls back into coverage a little quicker, if Frank doesn't drop that ball, who knows what happens, right? Maybe we don't win. But to finish off the game that quick, the, the, in that fashion was just fantastic. That's my favorite thing for the season. Uh, other things that were pretty cool to watch, some of Zachary Franklin's catches. Man, those things were fantastic, weren't they? And at the bowl game, they were balling out. I mean, he and uh, Cephas and... Kellogg, they were they were elevating, trying to catch some catch some balls, and they caught quite a few of them. Just came up short. But 12 and 2, 12 wins. Isn't that just fantastic? 12 wins in our 11th season. That is just unheard of. And if I'm not mistaken, of the current uh, CUSA lineup. Only us and Rice are the only Texas teams to win, to win Conference USA. That's saying something. And hey, Conference USA didn't go out of their way to give us the home game, right? Like they did with Rice. Some kind of cattywampus, you know, mental gymnastics, word salading for, hey, we found some rank where Rice gets to play at home, right? But what do we get to show Conference USA? You give us, you give us a bowl game, you give us the championship game, and we're going to show up. Forty-one thousand people, third most attended bowl game. I do believe this was the highest attended Friday game. I don't know how many Friday games there have been, but definitely it's the highest attended Friday game because I know the UFC games uh, when they were putting fifty thousand people in the in their stands were on Saturday. So says a lot. Whenever we have a 6 p.m. on a work day, mind you, it was December 3rd, still a work day, and we still put 41,000 people in our in our stadium. So we've done some great things as a fan base. We showed up at the Frisco Bowl. That was pretty neat to see, too. That was pretty neat to see, too. Tailgating was fun. It was cold. That's the coldest 50 degrees I've ever been a part of in my life. And I'm, I, I mean, maybe I'm just an old man, but that was freaking cold. They said it was 50 degrees. It sure felt like it was 40. Anyway, it is what it is. We're 12 and 2. I want to thank everybody who were on my channel in the in the parking lot. Jarvion Williams, David Morgan, Kyle Collins, Savion Harris, uh, uh, Andrew Martell, and Balen Baker. Uh, I just want to thank y'all for, for being a part of it. And just ad hoc, impromptu, what, what's going on? Tell us what you're doing. Uh, let's, you know, support Roadrunners after football life, right? Or after sports life of any kind. I hope that the seniors that we lost this year will find their way, if they're still in the San Antonio area, find their way into the parking lots and hanging out with us. I think they'll find we, we're, we're pretty good fans in the parking lot. And they, they everybody everybody's welcome, right? So... I want to give a shout out to everybody who's on my distribution list and have watched uh, my videos and subscribed to my channel. Seriously, thank you. Uh, this is just for fun. I mean, if I had money, I had a professional setup and had time to actually do that. I mean, I'd be, I'd be, have all kind of bells and whistles and, you know, simple, simple catchphrases and whatnot. But my catchphrase is, Peace out, Roadrunners, right? At the end of the at the end of the videos. So give, give me a comment and tell me what you what was your favorite thing about 2021. I to me, like I said, it was the Oscar Cardenas play. And the, the impromptu, and it happened. It was it was magic. We were meant to win the conference. 
That's really what that, that told us. It was, it was karma. It was destiny. It was whatever it was. So peace out roadrunners. I'm going to make a couple more videos. I got two more videos to do. Uh, this is just the Christmas Eve wishing everyone Merry Christmas. Uh, luckily for me, I got the in-laws do Christmas Eve and my, my parent, my mom does Christmas day. So it makes it easy to be in two different, two, two different Christmases. So, uh, hopefully everyone's spending time with their family or their loved ones. And if not reach out, if, if you're, if you're on here, reach out to me, I'll talk to you. I, I send this, I send the link to this, to, to a list of people. If you need to talk, give me a call. I'm being dead serious. We'll talk for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You'll pick up your spirits, right? Don't be lonely. You're not lonely. You're not alone. If 2020 and 2021 have taught us anything, you're not alone, right? So don't let depression creep in, right? Now, here's to 2022 for the Roadrunners. I predict Sosa, the Spirit of San Antonio, will still be the best band ever. And I predict uh, I'm going to go out on a limb, nine wins. I'm going to go out on a limb, nine wins. I, I'm, I'm, I, think, I think we got it in us. I really like uh, the recruiting class that Trailer has brought in two, two years in a row. I like what he's done coaching up the team. So I'm thinking nine wins. Hey, I'll take it, right? I, I'll take seven wins. But nine wins. I think nine wins. Not so sure we can win the win the conference. That's going to be kind of hard. But when you think about it, Western Kentucky is not going to have Bailey Zappi. UAB is getting a uh, uh, a transfer quarterback, I believe. Uh, and I think UNT is loaded with freshmen, right? So, but here's one thing that we got going for us up in UNT. We played a lot of freshmen in the bowl game. We played a lot of inexperienced players, and we still scored 24 points. We were in the game. We were in the game. And I have another video for about the, the game uh, breakdown and my, my take with it and whatnot. But that's for another video. Merry Christmas, everyone, from the Lit Medallion, and I will see you guys in 2022. Peace out.